All right, Greg Miller, what's up, pal? It's P Turtle. Of course, it's P Turtle. Go ahead, quickly, P Turtle. Quickly, quickly. this is my chance. To talk to Colin. Yeah, so go. What's up, Colin? Do you know who P Turtle is? No. <laughs> You've never heard me speak to Jaffe before. No. Why? I've been calling in for six years. No You've never watched the show. Speech, it'll go move no, on. No, not, not not usually. I, I, if he puts out clips or something, I talk to Jaffe on my own show. We're friends in real life. <laughs> yeah, okay, know. okay. Well, let me let me ask you this, because I have like eight things to ask you, but no, I'll you ask you this one it. thing. Maybe I'll call back. Who knows? But who knows? Do you think it's weird that Jaffe only attacks Christianity? He never attacks the Jews. He never attacks the Muslims. I, I what do you think religion. that's about? No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, go Let ahead. me give you an example. Uh, give you an example of you not talking about Jews or Muslims. I think Judaism is just as batshit crazy. If you want me to believe the Old Testament that the Red Sea was parted and uh, God told Moses to kill a bunch of firstborn kids, yeah, I think it's batshit crazy. I don't know okay. enough about Muslims. So why do you only target Christianity though when you talk about these things? Why do don't I, you ever talk the about? Woman, the woman who went on stage was a Christian that kicked off the email that Colin sent to me. All right, Colin, can, can I tell you this? Did you hear about the Jews in the walls? Oh, oh, what you, I don't know what, you, what you're talking about. You, you didn't hear about, about New York City. It's a New York the, thing. The I'm tunnels, from New York the Jews built oh, the tunnels. Oh, the, oh, oh, like when they, yeah, yeah, I did, I did hear about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When I brought that up to Jaffe, he said, because, you know, there was some stuff that it might have been some trafficking going on down there. They found some weird, um, you know, uh, what was it, a, a high chair they found. And he said, well, at least the Jews are smart enough to molest kids in, in the tunnels. The, the Catholics do it out <laughs> in the open. Well, I, you know. <laughs> oh, this is funny to you guys. <laughs> I was making a joke. But that said, though, I also made it very clear that if – uh, that particular group of people and it was a religious affiliation were Jewish and molesting kids then they should have themselves thrown in fucking jail too okay but it just it, listen this will be the last thing I say remember the whole the whole uh, Activision thing with uh, Bobby Coden he ended that whole rant about how white men need to do better because of all the stuff that white men are doing in the offices Bobby Kodak is Jewish that Mike Moraine or whatever the hell his name is, guy, is mm -hmm. Jewish. Okay, these are Jewish guys, but it's the black, I mean, it's the white are, Christians are that Jews, are always getting are the Jews, Are Jews not white? They are white, but when you talk about, let's not, hey, don't you, goodbye, you Turtle. know for a fact. Goodbye, hey. P. Turtle. Wait, no, okay. goodbye. There he goes, off into the sunset, fellas. Who is that? He's P. Turtle. He, let me tell you something, Colin. He, yeah. he wants us all to know that the age of consent in New York City apparently is 17. So he's a 40-year-old man dating a 17-year-old girl, and he usually goes to pick her up during the show from high school. That's that's who we're talking that's about. That's dark. He's dark. Well, he says he's not. Uh, yeah, he's out of his I mean, whatever. Life. You know, if that's, if that's their whole... He, can we can we get into what he, something you was saying though about that before we move oh, yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll call. We'll get you in a second, buddy. Hang in, hang in the chat room. All right, um, Colin. I did kind of bring that up earlier about he does. It's not, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the holistic view of everything you've ever said, but it does seem to me that I said it many times, like Christians are just easy targets. It's there. Are, there's they, way more nefarious shit going on with, with and, and that are, there's really nothing that Christianity is driving anywhere in like the top 25 worst things that are going on in the world right now. And I would say a good half of the, the worst things that are going on in the world are all being driven by Islam. So, Right. Or I would, an interpretation of Islam. So fair. it's like it, 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 it does bear repeating in some sense that it's like, yeah, we have to be multidirectional in, in some way, because I love beating up Christianity when it deserves it and Catholicism as being my kind of home field. It's cool. But there are some major fucking problems with yeah, a look, certain other global you, religion that I, I do think doesn't come up real. Of these 25 problems and you ascribe them to specific religions, I would have no problem going, hey, what do you know? Uh you know, uh, Islam happened to be the, or, or like you said, interpretation of Islam happened to be, uh, way higher than Christianity. And I will cop to the fact that for me in my home, because of seeing all of the anti-trans legislation that has happened over the country in the last two years, uh, it's, and most of that is driven, uh, by the kind of Christian nationalism, uh, that, that, that is kind of, I don't know if it's on the rise anymore, but certainly is, is part of that MAGA group. Certainly that has my attention more. Uh, so I would agree that it's quite possible that I 
amplify that uh, distaste. But make no mistake, it's a blanket statement about all this stuff. I, I don't care what religion you are. I think we're all fundamentally agnostic. And the sooner we recognize it and build our culture around it, the better. That's my Yeah, it, that's fair. I just, to me, it's like the biggest religious problems we have in the United States are like, should a cross be in front of a, like in a, in a, uh, a public building or should, you know, like the old well, 10 commandments in front of the courthouse kind of thing. Like we really don't have big drag out fights that where Christianity as a force blurs into polity. Well, we, we have a lot of legislation that is driven by, um, religious folks in a desire yeah, but to not... make America more like a Christian country. Sure. Well, I think America is a Christian country in some sense. Well, I just, I just think that not and I officially, think, not in any no, legal sense. No, no, certainly not officially, but culturally. But sure. I think that it's, it's a far cry from, like we were making fun of the queers for Palestine. Um, maybe they should bring those banners over to the West Bank and see what happens to them um, sure. if they went over there. And maybe you should try to go be gay in Saudi Arabia and watch your head get cut off in a public execution, or be trans in you know, certain African countries where they'll fucking, they'll launch you into, into a fucking jail and forget sure, you ever existed pretty, at all. So to it's me, pretty, it's like, it's a pretty low bar that, you know, at least you won't get your head cut off in America. If you, if you want to, you won't, I, I can say whatever I want about anything and not, and be, and like the, there might be a crazy person, yeah. but the government and no, the secret course. police are not going to come and arrest me and throw me away. These uh, are, there are serious, they, they look at, these countries look at women as less than human. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, they, you, they you like, absolutely, so, no, I, have, so it, yeah. it is important to note that like, it is no. worth like, that's the, like, that's dark oh, yeah. ages shit, but frankly. It, yeah, same yeah. thing with the whole oh. Tencent thing, whether you're supporting the China stuff or you're supporting, you know, all these companies, I get it. There's a lot of money to be made in Saudi Arabia, but I think it's ridiculous. I love that it was, uh, I think the, the, the woman head chess player in the world just lost two ranks because she's like i'm not going to play there they want to the, the way they treat women is ridiculous and i think it's great it's like good for her fuck them yeah it's completely um, it's completely insane and i think that the point is, is that religion guides all of that that's oh, yeah. all religious and and it's all at, sharia at, it, and yeah do you think the saudi family though is religious or it's just a way they keep power because I, the, I know it drives yeah. it at the human individual people level, but what about I think the, the Saudi, the Saudis are rapidly changing, I think as a, as a result of internal pressures because they know that it's not sustained They're They can't both be Western exposed and, and that culturally backwards. And I think that that, so it is a power play. I think they're probably religious, but I don't think it's, it's probably religious. Like the United States is religious. Like Joe Biden's a Catholic. It's not like, uh, the Iranian, you know, like, right leadership which are yeah, literal islamists or whatever so right. or that's Trump the whole point i'm making is like there's a lot of like that's why I, again i think christianity is just such an easy target because it's like there are like really materially fucked up things happening in the world and they're not being driven by christianity i'm sorry like they're not no i, I, <laughs> not I even close. Think, I, I, if the I biggest think... christian thing we have to deal with in the united states is a push for abortion laws which is not ideal i think there should be you know reasonable abortion laws but it's like if that's the biggest cultural thing that Christianity has done in the United States, then I think we've lucked out because uh, go to the other side of the ocean and see what the fuck's going on over there. I and don't know if I would agree with 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 the impact in a negative way that they've had is not as great as you or I think it's greater than you are suggesting. But I agree with you comparatively speaking. Fuck yeah, hundred uh, percent. And I and I and I see your point. And I think it's a good one uh, that P Turtle brought up. All right, believe that or not, that guy's fucking crazy.